Welcome to iLecture Online and now we're going to do an example on the what we call the at least one or ones rule. So in this case we have an example where we have single die and we want to know the probability of throwing at least one six in four attempts. All right, so the sample space is of course all the numbers on the die. The event that we're trying to achieve is the number six. The complement of that is of course all the other numbers and the number tries is 4, so n equals 4. And the equation we use for that is the probability is equal to 1 minus the probability of not getting a 6 raised to the nth power for that number tries. And of course, the probability of not a 6, that would be the complement of a. All right, so that means that the probability is equal to 1 minus that would be 5 over 6 because the complement, the other numbers, would be 5 out of a total of 6 in the sample space and then raised to the 4 power. Now here you might want a, a calculator. You may want to try to do it without a calculator. I don't know if we can. So probability is equal to 1 minus 5 to the 4th power. That would be 625. 6 to the 4th power, that's 216. That's 12. That's 1296, I believe it is. Okay, I'll probably verify that with my calculator. All right, and so we have uh, 6 squared squared. Yep, that's correct. Take the inverse of that times 625. And so that would be equal to the probability is equal to 1 minus 0 0.482. Of course, when we subtract that from 1, we get the probability is equal to 0 0.482. 518. So that's interesting. You may not have thought so, but if you throw a die four times, the probability of getting any one number, not just six, but any one number, is better than 50-50. You're better than 5, uh, 0.5 probability that you'll hit the number you're looking for. And there's a person that went around, I forgot the person's name, that actually went around betting people, saying that, I bet you I can throw a particular number in four tries and if you put a 50-50 wager on that, eventually you'll start making money off that because your chances are better than one in two that you'll get the, uh, the price. And uh, anyway, that's how we use the probability rule.